Hello and thank you for watching this video. We're so blessed to introduce a new mission partner of ours. His name is Joseph Otieno and he's from Nairobi, Kenya. You'll see him here in the picture. After some many months of us uh, edifying him and vetting him, we've decided to bring him on as a mission partner. He works as a tailor. He's a very hardworking man, works about 46 hours on average a week, six days a week. And that provides money for him to at least supply food and school fees for his children. But of course, these people have absolutely zero luxuries. What really got us to partner with um, this brother is his preaching in the markets and on the streets of Nairobi and Kibera and the surrounding areas of Kenya. Uh, he reached out to us through the internet and um, we really were impressed with what he was doing. So with a little guidance and a little um, uh, teaching, we have brought him on. And uh, as you can see here, he's in a church there in Tibera where he grew up and still lives. Uh, he's preaching holiness and repentance here to this church. And again, we're so blessed to have Brother um, Joseph as part of our team. The Kibera slums are incredibly um, poor, I visited Kenya back in June of 2016 and uh, what I saw was just unbelievable so you can see how when he preaches here the worship the hands are raised even by the children people are so attentive this is nothing like the developed world and the churches here in America and Europe and Australia and beyond the the people of Kenya are so hungry you know the Bible says blessed are the poor for theirs are the kingdom in heaven these are the people that we concentrate on the poorest of the poor. You see his family there. Um, there's going to be multiple pictures of his family coming up here. He lives in a small two-room uh, temporary house, they call it. They call it a temporary structure there in Kenya. His wife's name is Margaret, and I won't go through naming all of his children, but he has seven children. Uh, not all seven of them are there. Um, two of them are not uh, available in this picture, but... Um, Certainly, uh, he has a very beautiful family. So, we want to encourage you to pray about sponsoring this faithful servant of God as we continue to work with him. Uh, there you can see him and his wife. Um, you'll see his children now coming up as I continue to speak. But we ask you to pray about sponsoring him, becoming a monthly sponsor to Brother Joseph. What we would like to do is to get him uh, to be preaching on the streets full time. So we need some sponsors to do that. He does have seven children and a wife to feed. Um, so it's very important that you please pray about this. And we can uh, tell you that 100% of every penny that is donated goes directly to uh, the person you uh, donated to. So if you donated to uh, this missionary, it will go directly to him. Unlike our child sponsorship program, which goes to the family and the church community in general to help out. Uh, the missionary sponsorship goes directly to the specific missionary to help them on their mission. Um, Joseph is again a mighty warrior of God and what you're about to see now is a video of his house. Um, this is a video, it's a, they call it a temporary structure. You can see there's just some tree limbs in there they use as lumber and um, it's just so incredibly poor. Um, he just lives in this temporary structure with his house. He has uh, all of his life. Uh, you can see there's no wall coverings or anything. Um, it's just some uh, basic furniture there. Now remember that nine people live in this house. Nine people. So as you watch this video and as he goes around showing us his home, just think about how comfortable that you are as you sit there in your house. You turn up and down the thermostat. There's no thermostat in this house. There's no um, heat source other than if they light a charcoal uh, little pot there. They have a little like a pan of charcoal that they uh, would heat up. There are their pans and pots. Uh, they just wash clothes by hand. Of course, there's no washers and dryers or anything like that. You are really looking at the poorest of the poor area in the world. It's the Kibera slums. And again, I encourage you to look it up. K-I-B-E-R-A slums and they are in the area of Nairobi, Kenya. So please pray for us as we minister to and with these saints of God 
and just remember how luxuriously you live and how much you have. Um, and a lot of times we take that for granted. So I encourage you to really think you need to be paying that, that cable bill, that TV that you're watching. If you have a TV, it's useless. There's nothing that's on there that's good. You know, $50 a month can make a world of difference for somebody overseas. It could feed many, many mouths. You know, 21,000 children die every day in Africa and Asia alone. You know, 32 children die every single day just in Kenya because of lack of incubators. 32 precious children under the age of one month old die in Kenya every single day just because of lack of incubators to keep them warm. Um, it's just, I could go on and on with the different um, uh, statistics here, but 21,000 children and 9,000 adults die daily from man-made poverty because the developed world is using uh, too much of the resources of this world. So I pray that you enjoyed watching this video and a little bit about one of our missionaries, Brother Joseph from the Kibera slums of Nairobi, Kenya. And I really encourage you to pray for us and also partner with us financially if you are so led. God bless you.